Welcome back, my name is Zach, and you may be wondering why my face looks like a sherbet pastel dreamsicle. Today I decided to turn myself into a sweet sunset, and I hope you like it. This look is a playoff of my sweet stars look, which may become a series. Jumping right in, taking off my shirt, I prepped the horizon line with a white cream pencil. This one is from Crown Brush. I like using a white cream because if I need to, I can easily correct by wiping away the parts I don't want. Using sea sponges and various pinks and blues, I toss together a basic base layer of texture. I'm using the pink and purple because they're good transition colors between blues and reds, like the sunset. Beginning to map out the edge blending contrasting colors, I keep it light right now because it's easier to deepen body paints than to highlight. I began to lose the center area reserved for the sun, so I decided to use an extra damp sponge and a paper towel to blot away the extra pigment. This helps me maintain my desired spherical shape for the sunset. After sponging on a bit more pink, I map out lightly with a light blue where I want my clouds using gentle stippling motions with the sponge. Like I begin contrasting the piece with deep pinks, oranges, and yellows with swiping stippling motions in that same sea sponge. I whisper in your ear the things that we could be. I'll drown us in. I do my best to maintain the contrast of the horizon line with some light blue body paint. You know, your fingers are also some pretty good tools for smudging too. I bring in the edges of the night sky with a medium cool purple and work in a light inky blue as the last slivers of daytime sky close to the horizon. I add a second layer of yellow with a brush for extra pigment and intensity. Okay, so the clouds were a big deal, and this was actually my second attempt. I chose to swirl a liner brush in circular motions and tap out the color to diffuse the lines with my finger, leaving me with a wispy texture. <laughs> Continuing with the ocean, I sponge on some more blue hues to make sure it looked different from the sky. Okay, now here's my favorite part. We're Bob Rossing some waves with white paint and a fan brush from Makeup Forever. Feel free to fan in various blues and contrasting colors, depending on what level of Bob Ross enlightenment you'd like to achieve today. Some of the contrasting colors that I used were pink and orange. I wanted the reflection of the sun to be choppy, like the waves, so I let the yellow and white sit in diagonal contrasting angles. I like to take breaks and get fresh eyes on things, so I popped some blue hues into the clouds to clean my mind.
Next, I'm taking an inky blue mixed with a little bit of black and refining the horizon line and deepening the edges of the paint. Then using that same inky blue and black combo, I contrasted and framed the ocean. So I went a little overboard, and I decided to diffuse the shadows with a lighter blue and pink so that they didn't take the painting over. I hit the center of the sun with some white body paint to make it pop! Okay, now onto the face. I'm moisturizing my lips with Lily Cope lip balm and then protecting my skin with the Smashbox primer oil. Warming up some clown white on the back of my hand and going to town with it all over my face to make it as pale as paper. After powdering my face, I take yellow eyeshadow, which will be the lightest color on my face, and a flashlight to mimic the sun as if it was actually shining on my face from my chest. I used the yellow to map out the highlights and also um, followed a few underlit Google searched reference pictures. This technique is actually seriously weird until the entire face is completed. To complete the look of the underlit sunset feel, I used these shades from the Suvi Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette, Primal Black, and this shade from the Intense Pigments Pro palette from Mayron. See, looks pretty weird, right? I start with Bloody Mary right next to that yellow, which is electric slide all over, and I just buff it out and blend it out as much as possible, using Sangria Sunday and Funny Face to deepen and darken and contrast that yellow and red. And then lastly, I go in with Hurricane and um, Primal Black to fully just deepen and make this look insane. The idea is simple. Start light, blend slowly, and ignore contouring ideas. I took my good friend Beauty by Belinda's blue, white, and black liquid body paint to add star and face textures to my face because I'm obsessed with the freckled, spotty, and dotty look to be honest. I painted my hair with a combo of white and light blue body paints using the Makeup Forever Artist brush. For brows, I kept it simple with clown white. And for lashes, I popped in with some Pop Beauty Purple Mascara. For lips, I used the fabulous Traffic and Feathered OCC Lip Tars. Alright guys, that's the final look. The sky's the limit. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, feel free to comment down below, thumbs up this video, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of me, follow me under all social media with the username ZachZanga. Until next time, from my face to yours, have a nice day now. Bye!